milkweed. And milkweed is a very, very special plant because the monarch butterflies eat nothing but milkweed. It's all they eat, it's all they lay their eggs on. So if you wanna help the monarch butterflies, it's important that we all plant milkweed. We can create little pit stops across the country as they migrate so they have a place to land. If there's no milkweed, they literally have no place to land and lay their eggs. The problem with milkweed in the past was we knew we should grow it, but it wasn't so pretty in our gardens. This is a better milkweed. We'll love growing it and the monarchs really need us to grow it. We're doing a four piece milkweed collection that is just absolutely gorgeous. You're gonna get an orange one, a pink one, a yellow one, a white one. They're really lovely plants. They're prolific bloomers. And by buying these, you are absolutely doing your part to help a population that was almost decimated. Now, apparently they're having a good year this year, but it's still a tenuous situation. So create those stops along the migratory route. Stephanie Walleen is here with me and um, Stephanie, I should have brought you in earlier, but you know how passionate I am about this, and I know you're very passionate about it too. This idea of what we plant can actually have a huge impact. Well, not can, it has a huge impact on the monarchs. Absolutely, Sandra, you said it well, and I loved your little pit stop analogy because as we all know, there's the, the monarch butterfly migration, and as they're flying down and they're making their way down south, they're looking for one plant, and that is this. This is the milkweed, otherwise known as the Asclepius. And as you mentioned, for various reasons over the last couple of decades, the monarch butterfly population has decreased upwards of 80%. But also as we have kind of seen over the last couple of years, the numbers are slowly ticking up because as you mentioned, Sandra, we have started to do our part in saving the monarch butterfly population. Yeah, they were close to being on the endangered list. I mean, they were really close mm -hmm. and there was some debate, should they be on it? Because a lot of people thought they already should be. Um, your uncle Eric and I, Steph, were joking today that we were like, Anybody that talks about the monarchs coming back, well, we should talk about how much milkweed we've got there at QVC. That's right. And, and I'm kind of kidding about that, but kind of not because mm -hmm. this is something we feel so strongly about. The flowers are really pretty. It's the only flower yeah. in my garden that I want to be devoured, right? <laughs> it means I'm Absolutely. doing it right. And also, I've gotten people on my Facebook and Instagram saying, well, my monarchs ate this. I saw monarchs eat this. Other butterflies will eat other things, but I am here to tell you with absolute mm -hmm. certainty, the monarchs only lay their eggs on these leaves and they yep. only eat these leaves. In fact, I wanna show you, I planted Roberta's milkweed in my garden and within a matter of weeks, I saw these eggs. I brought them in. My husband and I did a time-lapse video. This is actually in my kitchen. That little baby is eating oh, man. monarch, or, or the milkweed. They turn into the chrysalis. Now this is in my kitchen too. You can see it coming out of the chrysalis. I fed them Roberta's the whole time and then that's wow. my husband's finger and we're letting them go. You absolutely don't have to do a science project like this in your kitchen with your kids. If you just plant them, you're doing your part. And Stephanie, I always say, there they go. I always say that we did that a few times and we're gonna do it again mm -hmm. this year. About the second run through, I ran out of milkweed and I ran yes. to a local nursery. And when I tell you, I paid so much more for that milkweed. I planted it right mm -hmm. in the ground. It wasn't as attractive. The plants weren't right. as healthy. And I actually now this year have re are replacing that milkweed with more Roberta. So get more than one set. Stephanie, how Absolutely. did you make this? What makes this such a better milkweed for us as people who love to garden? Yes, yeah, so as you said, Sandra, milkweed Asclepius is actually native to North America. But the native Asclepius, it's not that pretty. It grows six to seven feet tall. The colors are not very beautiful. And that's why we brought this butterfly bouquet collection. It is a four piece and it's including all of the colors that you're seeing here. The orange, yellow, this gorgeous pink, and then a very hard to find white. It's actually the first time we've ever brought all four colors together. And I like to say that, you know, this collection, it's a feast a true feast for the monarch butterfly and it's also a feast for our it's eyes because beautiful. it's been it's a hybridized collection. to be beautiful in the garden. It's a beautiful, beautiful collection and this is one where I say even if you live in say more of a cosmopolitan area and you don't have a yard and maybe you just have a little balcony or a porch, plant this 
because yes. if you live in a more urban area, it's even maybe more important, or a suburban area, it's important because as these monarchs are migrating from Mexico all the way up to Canada, they need these pit stops. If there is a monarch that wants to lay her eggs and there is no milkweed to be found, she has no place to lay her eggs. That's and right. because Mon milkweed stopped being as prolific in farmers' fields as you know, farming got more efficient, a lot less weeds, less milkweed. Um, truly, there's no place for them to land and eat. So, you know, things are getting better, but it's just because people like you and I now know plant the milkweed. Stephanie, I yes. love that you guys really rose to the challenge and decided to give us a milkweed that we wanted to grow. I don't want to grow what used to grow in the cornfields in near my That's house right. when I was a kid. I want to mm -hmm. grow this. Absolutely. Absolutely, Sandra. And, you know, similarly to you, I didn't grow enough last year. So if you're considering picking up one collection, mm -hmm. just go ahead and pick up two yeah, or three because you like can never have enough of this milkweed. Plant some on your in your containers on your deck so that you can enjoy the butterflies up close and personal. And then plant the other collection out plan. in the back of your in your um, you know, your land so that the monarchs can enjoy great themselves. Idea. It's a, that's a great idea. They come to you very, very healthy plants, and then they come back year after year after year. They do like sun. Okay, uh, don't forget about our air plants. Available, but we're not going to have time to do